Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the Soria Tanakh Shrine here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so as soon as you enter the shrine, the first thing we're going to do is come down here to the right side and we're going to pull this fan that's in the sand and we're going to turn it on and use this to clear the sand pile in the back. So you guys will see we have three over here. We really only need to focus on the one in the back. That's going to have a chest with a small key inside. So we'll go ahead and open that up, grab the key, and that's going to open the door that's back here behind us. And we're going to take this fan with us into the next room. So we'll bring this over by the door. We can use that small key that we just got to open it up. And then we'll take the fan inside. Now, when you first enter the room, you're going to have a construct that's hanging out by the bottom of the stairs. So you can just drop the fan and go take him out really quick. So you don't have to worry about getting attacked. Pick up the loot that he's going to drop. And then we're going to take the fan over to the right corner. You guys will notice we have a small sand pile over here on the right side. We're going to get rid of that sand pile. And that's going to lead us into another room. We can go ahead and work our way through that entrance. And this first sand pile that you're going to get rid of is going to have another construct. So take him out and he's going to have an important weapon that we need, the fan guster. So make sure that you pick that up as we're going to use it here in a second. And then we're just going to turn our fan facing upwards so we can fly and put it on the back wall. And we'll go ahead and fly up and you'll notice we have a gear with some sand blocking it. This is where the fan guster comes in. So we'll go ahead and use that start swinging that around and that'll get rid of the sand that's blocking the gear. The gear will start turning and that's gonna open up the gate that's up here that's gonna have a chest. And inside that chest, you're gonna get yourself 10 arrows. Now, once you get the arrows, you're done in this room. We're gonna jump back down, fly back across to the entrance that we came through. And once you're in back in this room, we're gonna take a left and go all the way to this back wall where the lights are. And we're gonna use ascend. And this is gonna get us behind the giant gate here. And the first thing you want to do in this room is we're going to jump off, pull our chute and use our bow to take out this construct so that we don't have to worry about him. Once you do that, we can go ahead and pull this little light thing out of the sand pile. And we're going to come over here to this fan and use this to clear off the light beam. So we'll go ahead and hit it, pick up the fan and on the sand pile directly next to us, if we clear it off, you'll see a giant light beam go up and we're going to redirect that light. So we'll go ahead and grab the object that we got out of the sand. We're gonna take that up top by the platform. And if you rotate this thing correctly and put it down, we wanna angle it so that it goes through the metal bars over there. So we'll place it just like this. You guys can see the light going through the bars. And we'll just come back over here and use ascend. And all we're gonna do in this uh, original room is redirect that light to hit our little platform. So we'll jump back down. And in this room, we're gonna have another little light object we can pull out of the sand. So we'll go ahead and grab that one. And all you're going to do is use Ultra Hand to pick this up, rotate it, and angle it toward that orange platform above the door. And once you do, the light will hit it, the final door will open, and you'll be able to complete the shrine. But this is how to complete the shrine. If you guys have any other questions on how to get this done, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.